Well, here are the introductions, and uh, in goal, Morris gets his place after coming in and being the hero in the penalty shootout against QRC. And then, of course, the likes of Dunbar, Wilson Wright, Crovador, and Andal Fraser will be expected to provide the firepower that is so legendary about them. Ronald Daniel is the coach. Well, Crovador has uh, slipped back into the 10 position, allowing Thomas to be the focal point for St. Anthony's College. Look for, right, for Wilson Wright to dominate in terms of uh, the way and tempo that St. Anthony's wants to play. And Morris in goal, safe pair of hands. Three, two, one, us North, situated in the heart of the central borough, Trinidad and Tobago. Not a very flattering league campaign by any stretch of the imagination, but they've come with one purpose. And that is to impress Nikosi Moore, the Moore brothers, Nikesi and Nikosi, will be expected to shoulder some of the experience. While Lewis, we spoke about him being one of the key players. Anson Raymond will sit on the bench. He certainly have experience in that regard. Well, look for Kendall and Benjamin to provide protection. Lewis will play a bit more advanced of them. And uh, one of the Moore brothers will be in goal. So just the semi-finals remain now. Presentation College against Arima North. And the St. Anthony's College will now move on to face Tobago champion Speyside Secondary. Well, that man has been good in goal, given the opportunity, Josiah Morris. Just one getting past him, a set piece. Let's look back at oh, all the action unfolded. And this is going to be all St. Anthony's Crovador managing to capitalize on the error early. And look at this, Alan Wilson Wright, a la peanut butter jelly sandwiches. And Crovador, number two for him. If St. Anthony's the early lead, we'll be talking about that all day tomorrow. And then later on, Herewood started the gingerbread man run. And when the keeper couldn't hold on, it was Thomas. I was able to get it across the finish line. And that made it three to the Westmoreland Tigers. And then Fraser, and Del Fraser with the penalty, was able to add goal number four. Chaguanas, though, they would get on the score sheet. A bit of trickery allowed David to get in. That made it 4 1. But then this happened in the second half. A bit controversial. The header. Across the goal line, and the judge have gone in. Replays, well, somewhat inconclusive. But the goal standing in the end at St. Anthony's College. Well, they walk away. 5 1 winners. All right, let's look at those numbers and look at the shots category. St. Anthony's out shooting Shagonis North. And, uh, well, possession, something that they also dominated, 61 to 39, as they won this match by five goals to one. Hans De Vins is standing by with our man of the match. Our NGC man of the match, Theo Crovador, congratulations to you. All the best, bro. Um, a brace, assist, and a motivator of the team. How do you feel about your performance today? Um, well, my performance today could have been better. Um, um, all thanks to the, the team and coaching staff for assisting me because without them I couldn't have done anything. I think give thanks to God for the goals, but I feel like my performance could have been better. All right, truly a class act. Well, I actually saw you talking to Dunbar after the yellow card. Um, what were you actually telling Dunbar at that point in time? Well, I was just letting him know that he's a very important player to the squad and we have an upcoming game against Speyside and it's very important, it's crucial going forward. And, uh, He's one of the players that should be on the field. So I was just giving him a little bit of motivation, letting him know to calm your nerves, you know? Yeah. We got a little more composed. Well, keep it composed. We look forward to seeing you in the semi-finals. Brent Sancho is with the coaches.